Hello and welcome, I'm Alas Gerdjuk and you're watching Head to Head with UATV. The Ukrainian road industry can already boast with the first results of large-scale repairs of highways. The road service opened a section of the first road in Ukraine with the warranty period of 28 years. This is the highest term recorded in the country. To talk more about the evolution of the national road system, we are joined in this studio today by Olena Krivoruchka, head of the Ukradur Invest state company. Hello and thank you for joining us today. Hello, pleasure to be here. Pleasure to have you here. So, the first road in Ukraine with a warranty period of 28 years, right? My first question would be, what warranty period is usual for roads in Ukraine so we can compare? And the second aspect is, what is so special about this current, this specific road that um, it can actually function and stay functional um, for 28 years and above or up to 20 years? So basically, I'm proud to say that within the last five years, we uh, definitely launched serious reforms in the road sector. And these reforms are concerning, first of all, uh, launching of road fund, which, uh, um, which stipulated, uh, which is uh, uh, set up to, to, ac to accumulate all the uh, financial resources. Uh, yes, uh, financial resources, and namely excise duties uh, on uh, oil uh, products and to allocate those uh, 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 to allocate those expenditures, namely uh, to road, uh, road sector needs. So basically, it allows, uh, thanks God, to launch uh, huge uh, scale uh, projects in Ukraine, which are related not just to capital, small uh, capital repair or current repair of the roads, which is, uh, we, which we have used to have within the last years of uh, independent Ukraine. But right now we are launching uh, serious projects and it's a proud that uh, these projects are not just financed by the means of the loans uh, attracted from the international financial institutions but currently we are launching also the projects which are financed by the budget needs namely these projects what we are talking about today this is uh, first basically new road uh, new concrete road in Ukraine uh, in Poltavska oblast in Poltavsky region uh, so this road is the road of first category uh, with four lanes for traffic and the total length of this road is expected to be around 80 kilometers 80 kilometers yes mm -hmm. and what what is important, this is the uh, road of first A category, which means that uh, all, the, uh, all the interchanges uh, to be uh, in different levels. It means that there are no crossing within one level, and this is really what we are uh, talking about, is it's a motorway or highway. And basically, what was uh, initially uh, and uh, reported, what was uh, commissioned already, this 1.7 kilometers, is just only very, very small part. It's just one carriageway which was open for traffic. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, uh, the works are ahead, and uh, hopefully, all the works to be completed by the end of 2020. By and the end of 2020. Yes, and we will have uh, uh, the full uh, road section commissioned, uh, and. Uh, all 80 kilometers with all the traffic interchanges of with all overpasses uh, flyovers and so on and so forth but when did you start building this road? Uh, actually the building was uh, started uh, last year in 2018 uh, the design was approved and uh, expected budget for this project for these 80 kilometers of concrete roads which are uh, Sometimes we are talking about that concrete works and concrete uh, road pavement is much more expensive than asphalt concrete pavement. But here in this case, I would say that it's more reliable in terms of uh, maintenance, in terms of uh, duration. Duration, yes, of this uh, life life cycle, uh, life cycle of, of this, this road. road pavement uh, exactly. And here we ha will have 28 uh, uh, years of uh, the guarantee. Uh, while we are, we are talking about uh, asphalt concrete concrete uh, road payment uh, for the roads of first category, uh, this is 10 years. So the, pe the period between uh, between the uh, repairs to be conducted. Plus so, good maintenance. Yes, so basically when we the, when the, contract, uh, the contractors in this case, because uh, this road section was split between several contractors based on the results of opening tender, open tender procedure. And uh, by the end of 2020, we hopefully we will have uh, uh, 
the road commissioned and uh, we will see the perfect sample how mm -hmm. concrete works may be implemented in Ukraine, how they can be built, regardless the fact that the bulk of works uh, is uh, uh, performed by the international contractor. In this case, this is a Turkish company Turkish who is company. doing the job, mm -hmm. but together with local subcontractors and some parts of works were awarded as well to local contractors. But unfortunately, local contractors do not have such a capacity for doing the concrete uh, road to payment in Ukraine. But this is the good sign and this is the good incentive for other contractors. So the state, first of all, has, uh, has paid serious attention to the road sector. We have an uh, enormous amount of money uh, allocated to the road fund uh, comparing to previous years. And it allows us to start uh, and to launch and to implement and to finalize what is the most important, mm -hmm. uh, these uh, uh, huge projects, which allows uh, to, in, uh, to increase the traffic intensity on these road checks, uh, to, in, uh, to enhance uh, traffic safety, which is the most crucial. Because, of course, the main, uh, the main goal of uh, current, uh, uh, of current governments uh, in terms of uh, road sector development, this is uh, increase of fatalities of, on our roads, and this is, um, of course, uh, in improvement of road pavement. Mm -hmm. Of course, it cannot be done uh, throughout the country within one year or even within two years. Of course, uh, we need a huge investment. And here, in this sense, international financial organizations are assisting a lot in terms of providing uh, uh, loan proceeds, in terms of allowing us to uh, implement the project based on their rules, based on their procurement rules, based on their contract rules and contract conditions wherever we are using uh, loan proceeds are for the contract conditions which allows to involve proper um, control meaning technical supervision and uh, I may give several samples uh, um, for example this year for 2019 we will have around uh, uh, five serious contracts uh, on the roads of Ukraine where we are attracting uh, and financing these projects through loan proceeds from the World Bank, from European Bank for Reconstruction and Development, from European Investment Bank, where the contracts are implement are being implemented by the international contractors, where we have international technical supervision and where we have solid results. We may show and we may show our national contractors how to work and how to cooperate. And also international standards, if we are talking Yes, about sure. this. I have a question. Uh, you mentioned that uh, the work on this uh, on this road, on this first uh, concrete road in Ukraine started last year. So newly basically built. you had, yeah, newly <laughs> built. So uh, it took you one year, it took the constructors one year to produce um, 1.7 kilometers of this road, almost two kilometers. But the deadline is 2020. How do you think how can you manage within this year until 2020 to to construct basically the rest 78 kilometers of this road? Yes, uh, according to the peculiarities of the road construction, uh, the bulk of works, this is earthworks. The concrete pavement is just the final layer that we may see and we may basically use it afterwards. But the main bulk of works uh, within new construction, this is earthworks. Basically, all the earth, bulk of earthworks have been already uh, executed. It means that uh, in, two, in the construction season of 2019-2020, the contractors may, uh, may proceed with uh, concrete works only. Uh -huh, they so have, it will be fast, right? Yes, they have already all the necessary equipment and uh, just for information, the equipment which is uh, uh, requested and required for uh, so-called uh, uh, top layer of concrete, uh, concrete top layer, the arrangement of this layer, it costs uh, millions of dollars. Of course, uh, national contractors, unfortunately, right now cannot allow uh, purchasing of such an equipment, and that's why we are using uh, the capacity of international contractors. But we may show. So we a good have trend. Turkish equipment here in Ukraine. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. of course. Wow. Uh, but and will this road be free of charge? Of course, of course. Okay. According to and we're talking about the highway. So basically, what cars will be allowed on this road? 
Uh, this car, the road will be allowed for any cars within uh, the standards and uh, within the uh, national legislation, meaning Ukrainian legislation. And of course, uh, we are stressing now this, uh, that uh, according, now, according to our norms and standards, uh, the maximum uh, way of the vehicles which are allowed to, to, to go through the highways is uh, 40,000 uh, tons. It means that everything which, which, what is over is prohibited, but unfortunately... 40 we, tons or 40,000 tons? 30,000 tons, yes. Mm -hmm. Wow, uh, that's pretty heavy. <laughs> Uh, yes, based, no, 40, 40, 40, 40 tons. tons, of course, 40,000 40, 40, kilograms, kilograms okay. or 40 tons, yes, yeah. sure, sorry. Because I was surprised, yes, yeah. 40 million no, 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 kilograms, 40 that tons. would be too, way and, too heavy. Yeah, and uh, here in this case we have uh, a lot of overloaded trucks, and the main point, uh, how to how to struggle, how to, how to address this problem. And Isn't this the, the biggest issue that our roads may look like a yeah. lunar surface because of this, because of these heavy trucks destroying and The deterioration is huge, them? even on the roads which were recently uh, commissioned, yeah, uh, the deterioration is uh, uh, already rather serious and namely because, not because of the fault of the contractor within the execution, works execution period, but uh, unfortunately this is the case and together with, again, international financial institutions which are investing huge amounts of money into the road sector of Ukraine. We were thinking how to how to eliminate, how to avoid this problem, how so to force how the drivers, how to, to force the agencies, how to force everyone not to uh, bridge the law, mm -hmm. basically. And, and what choose the right way. <laughs> yeah, uh, without any corruption. Uh, uh, but uh, the only solution from our side is automatical, meaning uh, without human uh, involvement. involvement. Yes, uh, this is the system called uh, way in motion. And currently we have signed already one pilot contract for installation of six so-called uh, way in motion complexes on the approaches to Kiev. Uh, what does it mean? That within the upper layer of the road surface we will have specific equipment which may uh, detect uh, the and uh, determine uh, the uh, weight of the vehicle and uh, specific uh, cameras will, um, fix. Uh, it will fix everything, yes, and provide this information to the back office. And then uh, in uh, automatic regime, of course, uh, this information to be provided to national police or whoever will be appointed for uh, charging specific fees, specific penalties for overloading, uh, for overloaded trucks. Uh, hopefully this system will work uh, rather good uh, in uh, Kiev region and mm -hmm. we have already preliminary uh, agreements with other financial institutions such as uh, European Investment Bank to uh, to spread out this system through all Ukraine. Uh, nice. When 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 the when this pilot project is confirmed to be efficient, uh, to, to be, be efficient. efficient. Mark, yeah. This is important. Do you have any kind of time frame for this pilot yes. project? Uh, the contract is signed for design, supply, and installations of so-called uh, stations or complexes, whatever. Uh, and the deadline where these uh, uh, stations to be already commissioned uh, and uh, took over. To, to the employer is November 2019. November 2019, uh -huh. this November basically. Well, um, Prime Minister Vladimir Grossman have been praising the road to building results in technologies, modern technologies, that uh, we become innovative in this. And uh, I would like to conclude this conversation on the very uh, last uh, question. Uh, except of the Kyiv region with this um, weight installation in the upper layer of mm -hmm. the road, right? And except of the Poltava region with this segment of the first concrete road in Ukraine, what areas does the road fund focus on this year to rebuild, to reconstruct and to improve the safety and roads? Basically, a road fund is uh, concentrated within all the regions and just a few samples uh, 
uh, starting from this uh, year, from this construction season, namely from uh, beginning of April, all the contractors are already on site. The uh, construction season has been launched officially. So it means that uh, at least uh, main uh, national corridors, at least, I'm talking about right now, the round part which is uh, allocated namely to national corridors and to so-called state-owned uh, roads. Uh, so we will have uh, capital repair on all the roads. For example, M01, this is the road from Kiev to Cherkiv. Nigev. Then M03, this is the road from Kiev to Kharkiv. Then uh, the road M05, this is the road from Kiev to Odessa within all the regions uh, along this road. Kiev, Cherkasy, uh, Odessa region. Uh, we will have the huge projects uh, which have been already uh, launched and implemented and we will have to continue this project on M12 road. This is the road which goes from uh, um, Ter Lviv, Ternopil uh, to Uman, mm -hmm. and then we will switch on M05 from Uman to Odessa. Wow, so that's basically, a lot of work yes, to do. This is a lot of work. The main veins of the Ukraine's roadmap basically yeah, are going yeah. to be fixed this and year. And this is except for the local roads where yes, the, uh, where the original the administrations are in charge of the capital of repair of these roads within the decentralization reform. I hope that in the end of the year we will be able to sum up with this, with the great news and with the positive results of your work. So far, I thank you for this meaningful Thanks conversation. So thank you. That was Elena Kravoruchka, head of the Ukridor Invest State Company. Thank you for watching Head to Head. I'm Alas Garjuk. Goodbye.